National Youth Leader Barista Ismail Buba promised to be giving updates on the coming convention, which will be coming up on the 26th of March in Abuja. During the press briefing at the National Secretariat, Barista Buba confirmed his department as a spokesperson APC Caretaking Committee. However, gave updates on the Office of the People with a Disability and the dates for neck meeting. Urge media to be part and stay away from fake news. Uh, and I know that you have noticed there's a lot of beehive of activities in the party uh, as a result of us coming closer to the um, uh, convention, which is uh, as of today, exactly two weeks plus one day uh, uh, away from, uh, from happening. And this is just to demonstrate our commitment and our seriousness uh, to what the stakeholders and the elders and the leaders and the members of the party have agreed to, which is a uh, uh, convention on the 26th of March, 2022. Uh, on Monday, of course, um, a meeting was convened and chaired by uh, uh, His Excellency Abakar Sani uh who is the governor of Niger, also a member of the caretaker committee. Uh, who is acting as chairman uh, in the absence of uh, uh, the Excellency Mr. Um, uh, we adopted uh, co convenient where strategies were adopted to fast track the process toward conducting the national convention. Uh, and you also are aware that on that Monday, the Tafai State Party Chairman and the FCT and that of FCT were sworn in and mandated to work toward uh, ensuring the unity and the harmony in their states and reaching out uh, to other people who may not necessarily agree with them uh, in order to form a very united front uh, for the party and mobilize the party members. We also received and deliberated a report of the committee on zoning that was uh, set up. Uh, after exhaustively deliberating on the report, uh, we approved uh, the report uh, largely with only one um, uh, one alteration that we did, where the uh, uh, office of the um, uh, leader for special people with disability uh, was moved to the FCT. FCT was given that position below, not as part of North Central or as part of any zone, but that zone, that FCT alone was given that uh, uh, position because in the uh, in the wisdom and spirit of thinking of uh, party leaders. Most of the positions were swapped after serving two terms in particular zones. Uh, but if you notice, uh, the office of the leader of the people with disability started in 2018. It didn't start in 2014. So that position served only one term in FCT. And we just thought it was only fair to leave it there again to serve another term. So that is why that was the only alteration. Every other thing was according to what the zoning committee agreed on and we approved it because we felt it was fair, equitable, and it was just, and uh, they did a very good work, and then we, uh, we published it. Um, uh, the caretaker committee also did something because of time. Uh, we realized that there's too much work concentrated in a couple of uh, few people, and we decided that all caretaker members now would have to relocate and do full-time work. And we also deliberated on, and, um, uh, and disagreed heavily on the Federal High Court uh, judgment and on the status of the Governor of Ebony State. Uh, we thought uh, um, that uh, there were so many cases decided by the Supreme Court in support of, uh, of the Governor. Uh, and, uh, but you know, we are moving to the next level as go well abiding the party to make sure that uh, we uh, uh, put this uh, aside and uh, give us what he has. Uh, there is already an appeal. So our governor remains our governor and um, we are going to do whatever we can as a political party to protect him and to protect his mandate that he fairly and squarely won. Um, uh, we streamlined and expanded the leadership uh, of the very, uh, we, uh, there was, um, a, there was a lot of lists flying around. None of them was uh, truly official for the subconvention committee. Um, after the first uh, one that was sent out, um, uh, we had to, we were told by the leaders of the party that uh, 1,700 members of the uh, so convention committee were simply more than 50% of the total number of delegates that I expected. It was simply uh, unwieldy and something that we cannot do. So 
we were asked to pull down that number and the chairman agreed. So we streamlined that number and a lot of uh, states were represented. A lot of stakeholders were given the opportunity uh, to be included in this, uh, in this very important process. Um, uh, and this has obviously tested and deepened the sense of belonging, inclusiveness, and reflect the mosaic nature of the membership of the party. So we also reviewed and strengthened the membership of the conventions of committees uh, by making them lighter and compact. Uh, um, uh, and then we also, uh, the CEPC chaired, of course, by the government of Niger has issued a notice of um, um, a meeting uh, of next meeting, which is going to happen on Thursday, uh, the 17th of March. Uh, as usual, a number of important issues uh, will be discussed, uh, but largely it is for the ratification of the date of 26 and to update members of NEC about the preparation of the party toward the, the exercise. So, I want to ask the media to continue to be steadfast in monitoring accurately important activities. Please do not be swayed by all these things that you see on social media which are unofficial. Anything that does not come from the party, you have the privilege of getting it first hand from us. Anybody can sit down anywhere he is, concoct anything he wants, send it out into WhatsApp or social media. It can go viral. It doesn't you know, make it official. It doesn't make it come from the past. You have the first source. Get uh, through to us. We'll give you the accurate state of things if we have the answer to it. Thank you very much.